Hey, good afternoon, YouTube gang. It's Mellow Deer Fest coming to you live and direct. Here to give you my fave five plays for today's nine game main slate. Hope everybody's having a great Wednesday. Feel free to like the video. Please subscribe if you're new or just supporting the channel. I appreciate the love. Press that bell icon so you always stay notified for new videos. Let's get into it. Going to the point guard slot. We got great options for the point guard spots for today. Now, you got Litter. He's in the smash and play against Golden State. But going Going down for some great cheap spots. I like J uh, Jeff Teague, 6,500. Also a cheaper play on DraftKings. You're looking about fifth. Was it uh, 59? I mean 5,800 on DraftKings. Just a great solid play here. It's probably one of the top fa um, fast paced slates and all fast paced game and also the highest implied total with a 231.5. Also got to look into the status with Carl Anthony Towns because if he's um, not playing, it bumps up Teague and also Wiggins here. So Jeff Teague in a smashing spot. He's been balling recently, y'all. 30 to 6, 52, even the 54 in the last five games. Going against New Orleans, you already know worst teams against the point guard position, y'all. So they're both at 104 in pace. This is definitely a great scoring opportunity to get some upside here in this matchup. All right, so love that play at point guard. Going to the shooting guard slot. All right, you know, of course, we got the narrative with Jimmy Butler, 9,100. Also got looking status with Derek uh, Jones. He's possibly going to be out. You already got Winslow. You already have... He got a lot of guys that's injured, so he can bounce back here. He did awful last time going against Philly. He had 27 face points, but as you can see with upside, he could do work, but 9,189 on DraftKings, something you could, could consider, but we could also go to uh, Andrew Wiggins. Going back to the narrative with the Pelicans, with uh, Carl Anthony Towns, that this is something you got to look into. 7,600 on DraftKings, 78 on FanDuel. Great spot, nonetheless, on both platforms here with Andrew Wiggins. Getting around 35 minutes a game. He's been balling. Getting 39, 37 minutes in the last three games. Getting the usage as well, around 28.5 in the last two games in usage. Just a great overall play for Wiggins here. Uh, another cheaper play. You got to look into the stat with if J.D. Reddick want to play today because he's 5K. You got Josh Hart back at it against Minnesota. Still a great matchup here. 4,800 on FanDuel is a cheap spot here knowing the upside. He could give you that 25, 30 plus in this spot here. So Josh Hart, another great spot. Another great play is Damian Lee. All right, 3,900 on both DraftKings and FanDuel. Knowing in the past two games, he's been pulling up crazy upside, giving you the eight to nine times value. 28, 25 in the last two games, getting around 30 plus minutes. So love this play. We get more minutes here. 220.5 implied total for Lee in this matchup against uh, Portland. So something to consider here, a nice cheaper spot. Also Malik Monk, another great guy to look into. 38 on FanDuel. It's still cheap, even DraftKings, 33, 3300 on DraftKings. Too cheap if he gets some more playing time. I know that Batum is stated he's likely to play today, but knowing that PJ Washington's out, it helps out with Marvin Williams and with Monk. So at 3300 on DraftKings, I think it's something you could definitely take a risk on and get good up side if he balls out all right so leak monk is another great play at that 3k range all right let's look at two our small forwards all right small forwards you can look at siakam if um Van Vliet is going to be out once again, but we got to look into that stat once, once more because Norman Powell is in a great spot if he's out. So Norman Powell is another great play to look into. He's still in the 5K range. They could give you that 30, even 50 like he did the other night. All right, so Pascal Siakam, another great spot. Even though he's 87 and 88 on DraftKings, he could give you that floor at least 40, uh, 45. So something I like in this play. Um, also, Gordon Hayward's back in the mix. 63 on DraftKings, 66 on FanDuel, 31.4 projection play. Easy spot to definitely target, especially on FanDuel. 1.07 base points per minute on the court. Love the spot, knowing that. Really, no one I can really guard him in his position on Dallas. Even with Kimba Walker, that's another great play to look into. He's only 7,000. Um, so, even Kimba Walker, there's no Luka Doncic. So, there's a lot of it's, they can score big in this play. All right, so Gordon Hayward, even Kimball Walker, great spots for today. All right, looking to the power forwards, going back to that narrative with the 
with Luka out. We got Porzingis balling in the last two games, giving them 50 burgers in the last two with Luka out, knowing that he getting that highest in usage, getting around 30 uh, 30% in usage in those two games. So something to consider in this spot, knowing that there's really no one else that's going to step up. So 8,900, but I think it's a better play on DraftKings at 83. It's just my opinion, but knowing the upside, he can give you that 40 plus in this play. All right. Another guy I could look into, Kevin Love. Yes, he's been disappointing in the past two games. He had a 51 lat on in, um, Three, uh, three three games ago, so can't say you know he's been on the decline for a, while, a long time. Like he had a 50 burger recently, so this is another bounce back play against Charlotte. They're one of the worst teams against power forwards. He should definitely annihilate them in this play, especially at this price tag. 7100 is too cheap to be ignored. 68 on DraftKings. Give me a break, y'all. It, you gotta sometimes you gotta just forget about yesterday and look at what he got today. The price is where he should get upside at so 1.1 base points per minute on the court getting the minutes as well averaging 30 minutes a game getting the usage he should definitely bounce back in his play now another guy you could look into draymond green he's probably gonna be more low owned uh especially with his price tag on DraftKings. i mean DraftKings is ridiculous 5800 on DraftKings. give me a break here knowing that upside against portland if they keep this game close he could easily clear that value all right give you that 35 plus here he got great stats against portland and as you can see 60 67 49 43 in the last four games against portland so he had that 54 uh, fancy point game three games ago so you know he still has it in the tank y'all he's still getting the minutes too you know 26 39 he only had 26 last time because of a crazy blowout but other than that he's getting 30 minutes a game definitely another great sleeper play for Draymond Green here at power forward now let's go to the center spot so there's a lot of great center plays today all right uh Joe Embiid 94 something you could consider on FanDuel um Definitely a bounce back play because he's definitely horrible against Miami. He's not really getting value. He had 49 last game, but he could bounce back, give you that 60 like he like he does. But there's a lot of other value here. You could also go to Tristan Thompson, knowing that Charlotte's worst teams against center position, last team in the league. All right, so Tristan should definitely bounce back as well. He definitely, you know, 30s. He only been in 30s recently, but he could give you that 40 plus in this position here, yo. So love this play for Tristan. Cody Zeller has been balling, knowing PJ's watching his out. He's been getting the starts, getting the minutes. Once you get the minutes, he's giving you value, y'all. So 54 on FanDuel. It's a great play to look at. 57 even on DraftKings. You know, he had 39, 39 in the last two games, 26. Even those are the games when he had less than, you know, 28 minutes. But getting plus minutes, he's giving you upside here. So Cody Zeller's in the smashing spot. So I love those plays. And those are, some th I, those are plays i like to consider for today. Like the plays, give a thumbs up. Any questions or concerns, which your lines, comment below. Using Draft Dashboard tools and link in my description so you want access to my plays and my player pool. Click the link in the description, sign up. Once you sign up, you have access to the NBA cheat sheet. Give you the best plays of the slate. Without doing much research, go to sleepers and your studs. Also, click on the watch players. Get access to my plays and also your custom player pool to make quality lineups for either DraftKings or Vandal. And we have also added the GPP and cash lineup generator on Draft Dashboard, y'all. So something to consider. Click on the lineup optimizer. You'll see it up top. You see GPP or cash. Just click either or. It'll give you a cash line depending on your plays. And also, if you want to do a randomization, it'll give you a custom uh, GPP or cash lineup, y'all. So love y'all. Y'all collect that bag for today. It's Mellow DFS, and y'all stay blessed. And I'll see y'all in the next video.